Hey guys, Trevor Boone from Emerald City Guitars. and Today, I'm really excited about showing you these. I'm sure many of you are familiar with Shelby Pollard from CME. He was there for a long time, one of the main guys. And when he left CME, he started black bobbin guitars and pickups. And I was kind of watching him from afar. Man, I just saw him continue to do really cool work, interesting stuff, you know, familiar, but definitely this amazing modern spin on it. So I gave him a call and said, dude, I love what you're doing. I know it's not typical just to make these for a store, but how do I get a couple in the shop? I want to support you. I believe in what you're doing. What works for you? And man, we had a really cool conversation. The guy knows his way around a jazz master and it was a guitar that I also wanted to have in the shop, a newer option. We get a lot of the vintage ones, but just for kind of the everyday player. So Shelby had just kind of put the perfect recipe together for taking you know, the best parts of some of these vintage ones and putting into something that's practical and really usable. A couple things that I love about this, it's already loaded with the mastery parts. That's a must on a lot of jazz masters if you want to get the most use out of them. And you know, it's $500 or so of parts. It's nice to see them built into a guitar already. These finishes, which we kind of called the Emerald City Green, they turned out amazing. In person, they're just magnificent. And Shelby worked with Kevin at Iconic to make these really amazing thin skin nitro finishes. I mean, he, he's not a big fan of relics, but he wanted you know to, something that you can wear in and it becomes your own, very authentic, gives you the vintage vibe. And he was comparing it to a really great 61 Jazz Master. They totally knock it out of the park. The, the back of the neck on this just feels amazing. It'll wear down the more you play it, so it really kind of just grows the player. The finish, like I said, in person is magnificent. It's got a little bit of metallic green going on. The Spitfire Guard, if you guys know about those, just amazing, really kind of authentic representations of early tortoise shell guards, and it looks really great in here. We've got two, one with the white guard, one with this Spitfire upgrade. These are Lawler pickups that he worked directly with Lawler, the Alnico 2 versus the Alnico 5 which kind of gives it, you know, the sound of an old pickup that's been demagnetized over years and years and years, and they just have that special amount of headroom, so they're not terribly abrasive, which a lot of people relate loudness to how good it sounds, but that's, that's not the case. You put it over a bunch of different, you know, pedals and amps. I realize that, you know, the loudest pickups aren't always the best. He put 280K pots in here, post the one meg. One meg is super bright. They're you know, made for flat wound strings to kind of compensate for that. But the 280K with these Alnico 2 pickups is kind of the magic zone for Jazz Masters. And Shelby, you totally nailed it, dude. It sounds so good. I, I couldn't be happier with how these turned out. I hadn't played one in person. Like I said, I just watched his work. I, I know what kind of guy he is. He's meticulous. And he was putting his heart and soul in these. So we have it available. These are great weight. You've got the mastery components. Pickups sound amazing. 7.25 radius, it's just like what a player wants. So excited to show you guys these. And lastly, we got these you know, a month ago or so, but we waited until Dan Phelps could come in. Shelby and I are huge fans. We talk about, oh, we gotta have Dan do the, do the demo. He's no stranger to Jazz Masters. Seeing Dan's reaction to these guitars was so cool and exciting to see. And he just sounded amazing on them. So I'm gonna hand this over to Dan Phelps. This is the Black Bobbin JM in Emerald City Green. Mm -hmm. 